my name is Fortunato Palma Esposito and I come from uh, Napoli, Naples, in, uh, in Italy. And I work as a postdoc researcher at the Stazione Zoologica Anton Dorn, that is a uh, like, uh, marine station um, in Naples. And um, I come from the Department of Biotechnology. Okay. So we work on uh, everything uh, about uh, application of marine, uh, uh, from marine environment. So microorganisms, uh, compounds, we, we explore the marine biodiversity to, to, to find uh, new compounds for biotech application. Okay. This is the and are those biotech applications more medical or is it quite a range? Of it's, it's, a quite, uh, it's a wide range of applications. There are some medicals like uh, can be anti-cancer molecules or uh, antibiotic molecules, antiviral also, and some more industrial like uh, bisurfactants, uh, cider force, uh, and uh, many others. Yeah, we, we have like a, like a platform of screening and uh, every time that we uh, produce some extracts or compounds from, especially from microorganisms, we test and we check their bioactivity. Okay. You've now been at the summer school for like, I guess, just over a week. Yes. So do you want to tell me how's the experience been for you so far? So far it's really, it's a really amazing, an amazing experience. It's uh, like really uh, inspiring. Mm situation because of the people that are here especially for that the topic is uh, uh, is every is going to the deep about the mechanism uh, that happens inside a microorganism so for me that I come from like another world so I'm interested in what happened outside so I want the production of compounds this summer school is telling me what happened inside the cells to produce for example these compounds yeah, okay. and it's, uh, it's really nice and uh, also the, the mentors, the professors are uh, like uh, uh, excellent mm -hmm. and uh, it's nice to, uh, to stay in this multi-cultural uh, environment with different backgrounds, all the people. Yeah. Uh, wonderful sun. <laughs> wonderful sun and wonderful landscape. <laughs> and so like, uh, did you have any questions from your own research that you wanted to bring to the summer school or any questions that you're going to take or answers that you're going to take back with you? Yeah, I, I will take a lot of questions back to me yeah. <laughs> uh, but at least now I know these questions I mean uh, before you don't have um, or you have less knowledge about what's happening inside now I'm not an expert after the summer school but at least I, I know what I should um, um, learn more mm. to understand the, the real mechanism in the, inside the cells okay. and uh, I will apply I will apply the, the, the knowledge of, in the, of the summer school in my own project at uh, Station Zoologica yeah so it sounds to me that the thing you're taking away from it most is, yeah, looking at that in, intracellular, or in, yeah, intracellular kind of mechanisms for producing the compounds that you were previously looking exactly, at. Exactly, that you find outside. Yeah. So Yeah, okay. So what's the, what's the, did you have any like eureka moments, any moments where you were like, aha, that really relates to what I'm doing in my own research? Okay, Maybe from here, yeah. okay, yes. It's, uh, it's really interesting the things that we, at the final uh, part of the summer school, last day, we should develop a project. Yeah. So we w have been divided in some groups and uh, each group has to develop their own project and explain this project in front of the, the commission, I mean uh, the, 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 the other participant in the last day. This is a really interesting uh, exercise because it allows us to um, apply to put in, in a project everything we are learning here so this is a, and I'm creating a project that maybe I can use I can really use in my in my career it's uh, it's quite uh, exciting this uh, so I think this is was was really nice and then for example today we heard about uh, um, Miro uh, the, the founder of this Institute and uh, um, was his talk was really really I don't know, motivational and inspiring, but also the others, the other um, mentors, uh, really, that uh, honestly, I didn't know anyone, yeah. uh, everyone of these, um, of these mentors, uh, but was quite nice. And if I can, um, the moment inside you learn science, it's okay. The moment outside, when you, we are together, coffee break, lunch, dinner, breakfast, um, you, exchange, you exchange some feedback, ideas, and in general, uh, you know uh, how they became researchers, yeah. how they became expert in their topic. 
you can you can get the inspiration. You can learn from that story a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. You can learn. They uh, spoke to us and they also uh, told about their failures, mm. not only the success. Yeah, okay. uh, this uh, I think is really important because in science, 90% is failure. <laughs> when you do experiment, it's always failure. And then then 10%, even less, it's really uh, you can change something. You can have an impact. But you will learn lots from those failures, I guess. As well. Yeah, exactly. Learn from these mentors. Yeah, yeah. Week. Yeah. yeah, sure. So when you go back to your uh, research institute, what is the, the, the first thing that you want to try new that you might have not thought about before? Yeah, for example, uh, I didn't work with uh, mutagenesis or uh, uh, experimental evolution, mm -hmm. but this, these two things are really interesting because what I'm looking for are, are new microorganisms that produce new compounds, okay? But these new compounds can also derive from this evolution of strains that I already have. Maybe I can submit, subject them, this bacteria, to a sort of evolution in the lab, accelerate the evolution in the lab, and uh, see if the product can change. So for sure, this, this approach I will, I will bring with me. So yeah. now you've looked at the inside of the cells, you might have a bit more control yeah. over things they're producing on the outside. Exactly. And you can take that into it. Yeah, you can affect yourself in different way, different stressors. Yeah. And uh, you can uh, simulate what happened in nature in the lab. Mm. Okay. Can you sum up the summer school for me so far in three words? Okay, for sure is uh, really inspiring, yeah. exciting, and uh, networking for yeah. sure. Yeah. And uh, maybe we can do a uh, several collaboration in future. So collaborative, yeah. I guess. Collaborative, yeah. right. Okay, collaborative, good. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time and your interview thank you. today. Thank you and to you. Enjoy the rest of the summer school. Thank you.